When visiting Disney World, I always talk about essentials you must have when visiting the parks, but you're gonna need something to carry all of those essentials with you during the day, aren't you? When visiting the Disney parks, I absolutely love bringing a bag with me to hold all of my essential items, and some bags are better than others, which is why in this video today, I wanna share with you five bag options that you should consider using when you visit Disney World. First bag we're gonna talk about today here, we'll just keep it real simple. We're gonna talk about a regular backpack. Backpacks are typically my go-to bag when visiting Disney World because I find that I can hold a lot of items that I need inside of the backpack and they also are very comfortable to wear throughout the day. Now as far as a regular backpack goes, I'll share with you a backpack that I actually found on Amazon that I like to use at times in the parks. It is a very large size backpack but the thing that I like about this backpack is that it has nice padded shoulder straps to wear and it also has side pockets on the side of the backpack. This backpack has a very large carrying capacity which means if I have a jacket that I want to take with me, I can definitely put it in here. I can put any snacks or waters or essential that I need throughout the day. And I always like having a front pocket so that way I can put my wallet in my phone or my keys inside of the bag. Some tips that I recommend to you when considering a bag that you may want to bring to Disney World is I definitely recommend making sure that it is comfortable on your back ahead of time. Try to wear it around and make sure that you are comfortable in it and that it's something that you definitely would want to carry around the whole day at Disney World. It's also nice if you choose a bag that has a material that may be okay getting dirty or that is very easy to get clean because getting on and off rides or putting bags on and off the ground can get your bag dirty. So if you choose a bag that is able to clean very easily, that's something that could be beneficial for you. As I mentioned too, I really like when my bags have side pockets because I can put my phone in the side whenever I'm on a ride or whenever I am charging my phone with my battery pack, I really like putting it in the side pocket so that way I can still walk around the park, have my phone charging, but also just have the battery pack in the side pocket. Another really neat backpack that I recently found on Amazon that I may consider getting for myself is this super cool cooler backpack that is on Amazon. Now this backpack is really neat and intriguing for a couple of reasons. The one thing is because I always bring snacks with me whenever I visit the Disney parks and the thing I like about this backpack is that it has a separate cooler compartment that I can put all of the snacks that I'd like to eat throughout the day inside of that compartment. It's no secret it gets super hot at Disney World so if I'm bringing any items that may need to be kept cool throughout the day. This is a perfect compartment to keep it in, but also I like to have cold water. So I could definitely put the water inside of that compartment and help it stay a little bit more cool. But another bonus to this backpack is if you are not interested in using the cooler compartment, it actually doubles as a full backpack where you can take the separate compartment out and allow it to have a lot more room to store all of your essential items that you may be bringing. The second type of bags that you should consider using at Disney World are either sling bags or fanny packs. Now the reason why I like to use sling backpacks is because they are big enough to fit essential items in for Disney World, but they also aren't super big compared to a normal backpack. I also like how they sit on your back differently than a normal backpack. At times a backpack can get heavy on my back, and so it's nice trying to use a sling bag because it rests on your shoulders a little bit differently. So if you're visiting the parks for multiple days and are looking to switch it up with the bag you're deciding to use, you could consider using a sling bag so that way it gives you a break from using a standard backpack. One bag that I really like to use if I am going to the parks for a half a day and don't have to bring a ton of essentials with me are fanny packs. They are so nice because I don't have to have a backpack on my back, but I still have a place that I can put my wallet, my keys, my phone, maybe a bottle of water or some other snacks that I'd like to have at the park. Also going along with those types of bags, if I'm going for a half day at the parks and don't have a ton of items that I'm going to be bringing, I love bringing side bags that just go right across my side and rest on my hip because they are a very nice size. This bag actually holds a bottle of water, some snacks, my phone, my wallet, and it is the perfect size that it is a nice convenient little purse, but it isn't so big and bulky like a backpack. Okay, now let's talk about some brand name bags that you may want to consider using when visiting Disney World. And the first brand name bag that I'm going to bring up here is lounge fly bags. Now, if you've ever visited the Disney parks or are familiar with the Disney parks in any way, you probably have heard of lounge fly before. And if you haven't, it is a brand that specializes in themed bags that revolve around movies or TV shows or characters. And they do a lot of Disney bags and you can find these bags in the parks or online on Loungefly's website. But the reason why I really like these Loungefly bags is because they are the perfect size I find to hold any essentials that I'm bringing to Disney World. Now Loungefly bags are personally my favorite type of bag to bring to Disney World for a couple of reasons. Like I said, they are the perfect size for me. I love putting an umbrella, some snacks, water, any other
other essentials that I'll be bringing to the parks that you may have seen. I love the front pockets that they have here in the front of the bag. Like I said, I put my wallet, my phone, keys inside of that pocket. And I really prefer lounge fly bags that have side pockets for, again, whenever I mentioned putting my phone in there or my portable charger. Lounge fly bags are perfect and I absolutely love them when using them at Disney World. Typically, lounge fly bags are known for their mini backpack style backpacks, but they do come in different sizes as well. You can find a much larger lounge fly bag. It just depends on the style and the pattern that they have, but there are bags that are much larger that may suit you better when visiting Disney World. Just for a size comparison, the much larger bag is about two times the size of the mini backpack. So it is nice if you're spending a much longer time in the parks, you could consider using a bigger size lounge fly bag if that's what you're interested in. The other thing I love about lounge fly bags is that there are so many types of lounge fly bags. There is definitely something for everyone, whether you're a Disney fan or you're a Universal fan, there are so many different types of lounge fly bags that you can choose from. And I guarantee there's one that would interest you. Another brand name bag that you can consider using at Disney World that does a lot of Disney collections is Vera Bradley. Personally, I have been using and purchasing Vera Bradley bags since I was younger. I would use them whenever I was in high school, but I love Vera Bradley bags because of their quilted fabric pattern that they have. And it is a double bonus that they have Disney collections that you can purchase and use at the parks. I really enjoy using Vera Bradley bags because they have very padded straps. And I also like their quilted material because I find personally that they are easy to clean. So I don't feel nervous about bringing them to the Disney parks. There are so many different styles and shapes and sizes of Vera Bradley bags that you can choose from and that is what I really like about the brand as well is that there is a bag for everyone and definitely ones that are very functional and feasible when using at Disney World. Recently Vera Bradley has been coming out with a ton of Disney collections so if you're interested in getting a Disney Vera Bradley bag you can definitely keep up to date with the different collections that they are coming out with. And the last brand name bag that you can consider using is one that I personally just recently found out about and it is called Petunia Pickle Bottom. Personally, I do not have any of these bags, but I see them being used a ton whenever at Disney World. And if you've never heard of the brand before, basically Petunia Pickle Bottom is a versatile handbag and diaper bag brand. We all know a ton of families go to Disney World and if you're looking for a good diaper bag or functional handbag to use when at Disney World, if you're going with kids, it looks like Petunia Pickle Bottom is the brand for you. I was able to go and look at a collection collection of the Petunia Pickle Bottom bags that have the Disney collections with them. And I love the patterns that they have on these bags and they are so versatile as I mentioned and they are perfect for bringing a lot of essentials to Disney World. The one bag that I definitely would go for if I were to get a bag from this brand is from their Cinderella collection. And the one reason why I really like this bag is because it has a flap that is magnetic. These bags look so easy and functional when going to Disney World and it looks like it's definitely Definitely something that if you are a mom planning on visiting to Disney World, this would be a very easy and practical bag for you to bring to put all of your toddlers or child's essentials in. Another thing that I really like about the bags is that they feel like they are a faux leather material. And so if you are bringing them to the parks, you don't have to worry about them getting dirty or ruined because it looks like they are a very durable material. I definitely believe that the bag that you decide to bring to Disney World can definitely make or break your day at the park. So definitely choose a bag that you know is comfortable and that is going to suit your needs whenever visiting the park so that it can hold all of your essential items. Throughout this video, I keep talking about essential items I like to bring to Disney World. And if you haven't seen them already, you can check them out in this video here, as well as some other Disney things that you should know before visiting the parks. I hope this helps you when picking a bag to use at Disney World and we'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.